name is Sergeant Jennifer Doyle, and I'm with the Abington Township Police Department. I'm also a member of the K-9 unit. And today I'm here to talk to you about the functions of our K-9 unit, some of the equipment that we use to train our K-9s, our specialized vehicles that are designed specifically for our K-9s, and you'll get a chance to meet my K-9 partner, Bella. So the number one function of any K-9 unit is location, whether it be the location of people, such as suspects or missing persons for tracking, whether it be where the suspect runs into a building and we're going to utilize the canine for a building search where the canine can help us locate that suspect safely. We may use them for article searches where the individual might have thrown something or trying to hide something from the police. We'll utilize the canine's nose to help us locate those items. We also use the canine for the location of narcotics or explosives depending on which scent function the canine has been trained to perform. And we also use our canines at public events such as National Night Out or maybe even demonstrations at your schools so you can get more familiar with us and our police canines. The training for a police canine is very long. It's about six months long to complete both the patrol and the scent function. It is a grueling process for both the handler and the dog, but at the end, the dog will leave with a certification just like you will when you complete school. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? So let's take a look at some of the equipment that we utilize to train our police canines. So let's start with safety equipment first. What I have here is Canine Bella's bulletproof vest. This vest has been specifically designed to fit Canine Bella's body, and she would wear this on deployments, whether it be in the township or perhaps if we're requested from another township. This will help keep Bella safe while we're out there on deployment. Next, I have our Canine Bella's boots. Um, obviously, she has four boots for her four paws, and we utilize these boots in instances where there may be glass or debris on the ground that might injure canine Pella's paws. So we're going to keep those with us in the event that we need them. Next I have is Canine Bella's TAC Medic bag. This contains items that if Bella was injured out there on, on the street, that we would be able to patch her up and get her to the vet as quickly and safely as possible. Next we have what we would call a apprehension sleeve. This is something that is worn by our decoys to help keep them safe when we are practicing and training the criminal apprehension for our canine. This also does another function for our canine. It helps keep their teeth safe as they sink into it. And again, it protects the decoy from the canine's teeth. I had mentioned already about criminal apprehension and what I might call grip strength. This is something called an apprehension pillow, and it is designed to help develop the canine's grip. So when the canine does come in for a grip with their teeth, that is complete and sunken in. So this helps the canine stay safe as well, and it allows for the canine's bite development to occur. As I stated before, location is the number one function of a police canine team, and tracking is our number one function here in Avenue Township. So this is something that Canine Bella would wear while she's tracking. This is her tracking harness, and it would be attached to her tracking lead. And this leash is about 16 feet long, and we use these extra long leashes to give the dogs some freedom of movement because we're going to be following them on the scent of smell. I tie little knots into this to help me keep the leash uh, close to Bella so I'm not going too far to the end. That's something that the handlers learn as time goes on, but that's something that helps me. The next item we have is her regular leash. This is something that I would use with Canine Bella, whether I'm getting her out of the car for a walk or taking her out for a demonstration. So this is what we call the six foot leash, and this is something we utilize every day with our canines. The last leash I have is what we would call a traffic leash. This is a very small leash that if I needed to get Canine Bella out of the car quickly, but still maintain physical control of her, I could go ahead and snap this to her larger collar and I have that physical control that I need, need with Canine Bella or any canine for that matter. These two items here are what we call a rattle stick and a whip and we utilize these because it's very important that our canines are environmentally secure whether it be through sound or surface. So we don't want our canines to be um, distracted if they hear a noise like this. We want our canines to stay focused and that's what they do. And we use these in trainings to ensure that. And last but not least, we have her training toys. These training toys are very important. Our canines work very, very hard. 
to ensure that they're able to perform all of the functions that we need them to. But like anything, you want it to be fun for the canine. So when the canine completes an exercise, we make sure they're rewarded, whether it be with their ball or a tug or a toy of their choice. We want to make sure the canines understand that we appreciate the hard work that they're doing and that they're rewarded every single time. So that's the equipment. Let's take a look at the vehicle. So I'm standing in front of one of our specialized canine vehicles. And what makes these vehicles special is that they're designed specifically for our police canines. Inside the vehicle is what we call the hot pop system. One side is what we call the hot side and the other side is the pop side. The hot side is the temperature system that ensures that the interior temperature of the vehicle does not exceed a certain threshold and keeps the canine safe. In the event that the vehicle does heat up inside and goes beyond that threshold, the vehicle's lights will turn on, the back windows will come down, exhaust system will pull the heat out of the vehicle, and the horn will actually sound SOS. This way, the canine can stay safe on those hot summer days that we're gonna have them out there with us, and we'll be notified immediately should something happen with the interior temperature of the vehicle. Now for the pop side. As you can see, I wear a receiver here on my left shoulder. And what this allows me to do is to press a button and this back door will open up on a hydraulic and allow K9 Bell to come out and assist me. I might utilize this feature in a car stop or in any instance where my safety might be jeopardized and I feel her presence might add to my safety. Now are you guys ready for the pop? And you get a chance to meet K9 Bell. Here we go. That's my girl. You guys ready for some obedience? Here's some interesting facts about Canine Bella. Canine Bella is a nine-year-old Belgian Malinois German Shepherd mix. She came to us from the overseas from the Netherlands. Canine Bella received her initial training phase in patrol and explosive detection from the New Jersey State Police in 2012 and 2013. Canine Bella serves in our patrol capacity and is currently retired from explosives detection. Canine Bella certifies annually in the patrol discipline with the United States Police Canine Association. She has earned over 40 awards, including being ranked as the number one canine for the United States Police Canine Region 6 in both 2017 and 2018. In addition to training our canines, the canine handlers are responsible for the daily care of their canine partners. Our canines reside in our homes and they are our 24 seven family member. Here we are going to perform some obedience exercises for you. You will see the canine healing next to me, performing turns, having pacing changes where I make the canine move faster or slower and directional changes. As we talked about before, at the end of every exercise, the canine will be rewarded with their favorite toy. Here you'll see another phase of obedience. This is called walking controls, where we sit the canine and we'll move away from them, where they will remain seated until we pick the canine up with our command. Another walking control would be when we down the dog, leave the dog in that position, and then call them to a heel. We'll about face the canine. Here's another phase of obedience, what we call distance control. During the distance control phase, we will change the position of the dog by hand and then by voice to the down and the sit, bringing the dog to a heel finally with a hand control and of course, rewarding the canine. The Belgian Malinois is known for its jumping ability and its tremendous grip strength. Canine Bell and I will practice this exercise to work on her grip strength, her jumping, and also her ability to release on command. Another exercise that we would do to work on grip strength is allowing Canine Bella to run to the apprehension pillow and have a swing. That swing accomplishes protecting her jaws and we also work on her immediate release on command. Another amazing exercise we do for grip strength is what we call the spin. Canine Bella uses her jaw to hold on to that while I spin her around. It's fun for her and again, she will release on command. 
So there you have it, a little glimpse inside the Abington Township Police Canine Unit and our canine team. Thanks so much for your attention and have a great day.